To make my glass beads I use a surface mix torch. It has got two hoses, one connected to the oxygen and one to the propane. Um, I have got a oxygen concentrator for my oxygen and that saves me having to replace bottles of oxygen all the time. Uh, I've also got a creation station which helps me when I'm doing quite intricate beads keep steady and uh, stops my arms getting too tired. I've also got this uh, shield which cuts down a lot of the soda glare from the molten glass much easier on the eyes. Um, I keep my tools handy. I have a graphite paddle. I've got some squeezing tools for shaping. This one I also use for shaping. It's just a brass tool that the glass doesn't stick to. Then I have got uh, a poking tool. That's quite handy for pushing little holes in. Tweezers. And I have a lighter handy for lighting the gas. I keep my glass just in glass jars uh, according to colour. And I have got uh, a baking tray from the oven where I rest my hot glass. And I rest the ones I'm working on at the time on this little glass rest. Uh, after I've made the bead, I cool it slowly in these dishes of vermiculite. Uh, I keep my mandrels dipped and in little containers according to size. So I've got the three sizes, small, medium and large. And a jar of bead release. Then uh, I have just this to remove the beads, so I've got my pliers and a dish to, to catch all the rubbish and a jar to put my empty mandrels back in. Then I have this area for cleaning the beads, so I've got water and a dish I've got my rotary tool with a flexi shaft and a diamond bead reamer. And from there, the next step is to be annealed in my kiln.